All right, we're starting to hear some power outages um, in the area. Well, not just our area, but also along the coast. Along the coast as well. Randy Wheelis with Duke Energy joins us now by phone. And one thing we all want, and I think you'll agree with us, is little wind and not much tree damage to cause those power outages, Randy. That, sound, that would sound good. Uh, right now we're in the early stages of the storm. We've probably got 20 plus thousand customers along eastern North Carolina without power. But that's just early. Those numbers will probably go up through the night. How high they go, our models earlier said some, somewhere around 700,000. We'll see if it gets to there. Well, let's hope not it get. Well, hope, uh, let's hope not we have, we see that. Okay, just tell people what they need to do if they do find themselves without power. Well, hopefully they've been preparing the last few days. Uh, but if you're without power, uh, make sure you've got those you know flashlights, batteries, candles, matches to sustain yourself. Uh, but if it goes a few days, and some of these could in some really uh, damaged areas. Uh, you know, where would you go if you need to? Is it a hotel? Is it with a family or a friend? So make sure you have an alternate plan in case you have an hour. It's just going to go for a few days. And do customers need to report it? I mean, obviously you'll know, but is that a requirement for them? It's not a requirement, but people can call 1-800-POWER-ON to report those outages or even text it as well. Uh, you know, we know we're going to have a lot of outages that tonight will, and the overnight will kind of tell the tale of what we're looking at. Uh, so we've got a workforce of 9,000 people who are ready to go when the storm moves through to get on power outages and hopefully get them restored as quickly and safely as possible. But I'm sure you would say to folks if they lose power and there is a lot of damage out there to uh, be patient because it's also going to take some time. 9,000 sounds like a lot of employees and it really is but at the same time if there's a, there are a lot of outages it may take a little time. Right. I mean, I think we have to thank our customers in advance to be patient with us. Uh, we, we have a big workforce, but in some of, you know, we've had hurricanes in the past where we've had people without power for a number of days just because the damage can be so deadly and so devastating. So hopefully that won't happen here, but we don't know it's going to tell the tale over the night. What, at what point do you know that it's safe enough to just to go out there and repair these, pay, these uh, power lines? Usually when winds die down under 35 miles an hour, uh, because what happens, you can't really operate safely in a bucket truck. You can't have someone 20 feet out off the air with a 35 mile per hour wind. So the winds have to die down so we can get out and get the work done. Well, listen, we certainly appreciate the work that you do, the work that you put in, especially after these storms. Um, and we'll check back in. Hopefully nothing serious for you guys to deal with tonight. Well, we hope so, but we know, you know, it's, it's still a deadly storm. It still packs a punch, has a lot of rain with it. We know there'll be power outages. Hopefully we can restore them quickly and safely.